got some updated numbers for you. 40,000 people were actually at Buffalo's waterfront yesterday and today. 30,000 people were down at Canal Side to see those tall ships and everything that Canal Side has to offer. Well, it was cleanup day in Ellicottville after last night's deluge of rain created this mess. This fast moving storm left a ro rodeo high and dry yesterday, but organizers are not letting the weather buck this weekend's big event. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley takes us to Ellicottville for more. Have you ever seen a storm like that? No, I've been here 35 years. It never rained like that before. For more than three decades, John Kent and his wife have poured their heart and finances into hosting the Ellicottville Championship Rodeo at their farm, an event that draws nearly 500 cowboys from across the world and thousands of spectators. It's a real rodeo. You come here, you'll see all kinds of action. But Thursday evening, just before the rodeo was to begin at 7 p.m., a powerful thunderstorm hit, making some scary moments for many people, like the Florida-based Wall Family Trick Riders. I have been in lots of scary storms in Florida, um, but but I was trying to save my awning at one point in time. The lightning was close and it shocked me. I said, awning, you're on your own. <laughs> so much rain fell so quickly that it caused a flash flood where hundreds of cars were parked. Tanya Okerlund from Pennsylvania took this video as she tried to escape the storm with her husband and their horses. And we actually had to pull forward because the water was coming up over the bumper at the back of my horse trailer. Dusty Myers travels the country performing as a rodeo clown. He's seen a lot of storms, but felt this was the most intense. It was amazing. I've never seen water come in that quick. Using heavy equipment, the Kent family was able to keep floating debris from trapping people. Washed away corral panels. It was washed in logs. It was insane. 2,000 spectators were at the rodeo at the time of the storm. Luckily, no one was hurt and only a couple vehicles needed assistance. The rodeo is always more fun to be able to watch it in the mud. <laughs> In the rodeo business, the show must go on rain or shine, and there's been a team effort underway to clean up. Yep, the status is rodeo's going on, we're not stopping. It's We got three more shows to go, three more days to run. Less than 24 hours after Mother Nature soaked this entire area, she is now helping dry things out for tonight's rodeo performance with sun and a gentle breeze. But people here are continuing to keep their eye on the forecast. In Ellicottville, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News. Tonight, a 